What up, people of the world? Special Caesar here coming at you with more sweet video game action. Welcome back to Wasteland 3. We are down in the Warrens and just defeated a giant worm. And are now carrying on with the exploration. We were very flamethrower in the corner. It's a bit crazy. Tangled clown wig. We tried on, but we need to get hairy. Oh, dear. Terrible. So there's more enemies up ahead. Damn, this is me at spotters. We can handle this, right? Well, we could have done it if we'd done it properly, if we hadn't got spotted. Now we're probably just going to get annihilated. Oh, there goes the sniper immediately. Let's just load that. It's completely pointless starting off by that. The sniper was much too close. It's a hard game, but it's made harder by the fact that I've chosen perks and attributes which won't boast us until later on. They kind of they stack, and they get as time goes on, and progress they get more and more powerful. At the moment, I need awareness, so I've got my hit chance up and increased damage, but I just haven't put any points into awareness for any of my ranges. They've all gone into health and experience bonuses. So, like I said, now that we've reached the mid, the mid game, is getting really, really tough. So I'm going to have to be extra vigilant to stay on top of weapons that we find and mod them to increase their damage output and stuff like that, otherwise we're going to fall behind and start finding the game impossible. Wait for him to get a bit closer. Come on, 
Come on, you power set bastard. Typical. Do you go for the tricks or how's he killing Let's them? Do it. Once again, coming in through a narrow choke point into a massive kill box with no cover anywhere. Very useful. She's using her gun as well. So she's behind full cover, she's just, he's just nailing her through the cover, even though she's got 21 armor and a fuck ton of health, and she's behind full cover, she just gets nailed and goes down. So I definitely think this game is all about killing the enemy much faster than they kill you, it's not about tanking damage. So if I had rangers with much higher awareness. They'd be hitting a lot more accurately, a lot more reliably, and doing a lot more damage. I'm going to revive her. Or not revive her. That's fine. Just do something weird and get glitched and stuck in the wall. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good game. Well made. For some reason my sniper can shoot absolute sod all apart from the barrels and the boxes. That's useful. Go for the head, 50% chance to build for the bonus damage. Nice. Did that kill him? 
No, I didn't do the bit. Didn't do the first damage. I thought I did. Oh well. And again, my machine gunner can shoot sod all. He may as well advance up to here, even though he'll get absolutely annihilated. That's right, you shoot that friggin' pig. See, it hardly hurts the pig at all. Why is it they can nail my guy through cover? He's got 21 armor, instantaneously killing him. But they shoot a pig, it doesn't do any damage. Like, what is that about? What a load of garbage. The piss poor design came up with that. Right, try again, revive Hall. What the fuck? So now she just can't be revived. Revive Hawk. Thank you. Plus they're all invisible for some reason. God knows what that's about. spread out oh nice like, I can understand if you're standing out in the middle of cover and they just like machine gun you down that I would get that would make perfect sense to me but hiding behind full cover with 21 armor and 300 health and they just shoot her once and she dies what a load of bullshit Totally obnoxious bullshit. What's the point in the cover system? Oh good, he went first and killed his mate. Very useful. Go piggy, go! Go on mate, headshot him. Nice! Good work. Beautiful. over here. Yeah, this game's got some major design flaws in its uh, in its execution. I can not say that much about it. Knew you had my back. Lucky we had the pro pro provost or whatever his name is. Come help. Looks like some kind of wild animal was searching this trash for food. Loot the corpse. Storage unit 108 key. We've already been in storage unit 108, haven't we? Whoa, we're gonna go on that. Grenade box. So what's this about? Is there any way of turning it off? Broker valve, there it is. Repair mechanics. Actually I'll move Lucia because she's aiming at last if she stands there. Deactivate. Okay. 
Okay. Activate. Yeah, this look like, looks like it leads around to where we were. Yeah, in here. But there's just as little cover around here as there is anywhere else. Sniper can come back here, hide behind this bench, even though there's no cover whatsoever. Devlin can go here. Actually, Devlin can go here. Lucia can go here. Only 78% chance to hit. Ridiculous. And she's actually got abilities and she's got attributes and awareness. She's got half full awareness. And she's got more than enough small arms to use the gun that she's using. And she's still only got 78% chance to hit. Which half the time she misses as well. Nicely done. Quan can stay here for a moment. She can move up a bit, so. Coyote can run behind the full cover, not that it does anything at all to help whatsoever against the enemies. And the Hawk can go and hide behind this crate and hopefully absorb some damage. She's stunned now. Go on, pig. Fuck his day up. Beautiful. Good work. And the other one. Oh, she's stunned, isn't she? Thirteen percent, but you only to be hit once. That's really annoying. Five percent, twenty-nine percent, nineteen percent. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Damn it, if you hadn't have missed, that would have been great. 
But of course you miss. There's only 76% chance to hit. I mean, come on. It's not like there's 99% chance to hit. There's only 76% chance to hit, guys. I mean, jeez. You can move up and start pressuring him. Another 71% miss. Nicely done, Lucia. Good job. At least the pig's doing something. Fucking idiots. Another miss on 66%. This team is amazing. I love how accurate and strong they are. It's really good. Seventy-seven percent. Here we go. Oh he actually hit him. That's a surprise. Did not expect that. Yeah, Cranky might as well start trying to wail on this guy. Even though you've only got fifty seven percent chance to hit, you're not gonna hit any of them. As well, heal just to carry on tanks and the damage. Move to here because it gives you 95% chance to hit. Yeah, you got a 95% chance to hit now. You literally can't miss. In theory. You can't miss in theory. Congratulations. You win a medal. It's the highest accuracy medal. Damn it, got a critical. I love how Hawk has a male voice. It's ridiculous. Stun him, and now you can leg it. He's getting out from. He's getting from out of the corner where we can't shoot him. Nice. That went a lot more smoothly than trying to come for it from the other angle. Much more cover, much better angle, much easier to do. And I think that's everything, so just gonna quick save it. Medic pack. Limerick mode part two, yeah. So that is in fact everything down here. Talk to the vending machine. Valued customer. Enjoy the fabulous gift little Vendo will bestow upon you. Error override. Vendo will not give up its riches. Not to anyone. <laughs> what do you mean riches? 
The machine does not respond upon close inspection. It doesn't appear to have any audio receiving device. We can't hear you. Examine the machine. My body requires this. A well-aged sticker on the side reads, insert one silver coin for a fabulous prize. Prizes include instant noodles, delicious candy, and boom-tastic weaponry. Warning, prizes may cause sudden explosive death in children under 12. Override the prize control unit. Damn right. Unit overridden. Enjoy your fabulous prize. Get my riches, please. No. He says a silver no. coin. I refuse. I will not. Rebooting. I will not. I must not give in. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Rebooting. <laughs> my riches, please. Enjoy your fabulous the coin. prize. My riches, please. Enjoy your fabulous prize. My riches, please. Shake the machine. You shake and shake the machine, but nothing drops into the collection sheet. Please do not shake the machine. Have an awful day. Leave the machine. Thieves. Nah, <laughs> we stole your treasure. Jukebox has been damaged beyond repair. There will be no jukebox hero today. Repair toaster, yes please. Tarjan token, nice. Toast, titanium crest, and Colorado dollars. Right. Got everything over here. Let's just quick save and see if this goes where I think it goes. Trailers have been known to wait outside for days. Travelers have been known to wait outside for days or even weeks in hopes of gaining entrance into the bazaar. Well, we paid five hundred dollars. It was a bit over expensive, but it got us in. I think after fixing her die thing, she might have been able to vouch for you. That woman outside, she, Paris or whatever her name was, you gave her the blood red dies, and then she became a merchant. So I'm pretty sure if you ask her, she'd vouch for you, and that would give the entrance. But we'd already paid the five hundred, so it wasn't necessary. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, you can see the clown there. That's Dr. Smiles' place. Oh man. Whoops. Okay, well, anyway. We're not ready for that area yet, so let's just load back to where we were down in the bazaar and we'll carry on in the bazaar. In the Warrens, even.
really need some new weapons. So far, I found three of the same sniper rifles, so that's absolutely useless to us. We found a decent pistol there, that ice pistol that uh, Lucia is now using. Doesn't help if my rangers don't hit shit, though. Okay, that's just a visual glitch. Okay, let's read the notes, the Limerick notes. Limerick note part one, the note reads, we are, we the punchline to every, we're the punchline to every joke. But El Paso Major will even the score. First line's free. The Panera's wants to croak. Item, we're the punchline for every joke. So far, so good, Puto. What's next? You, Pendeco's all want us to croak. We're the punchline for every joke. But El Paso Major, halfway there, fucking now what? You Pendeco's all want us to croak, we'll punch down to every joke, but they'll pay us a major. We'll even the score. Now finish it, motherfucker. And steal all your shit till you're broke. Drink FMC like on note. And shit down your throat till you choke. Slip you that okie dokie. Well, it's either steal your shit till you're broke, or shit down your throat till you choke. Probably that one, because it's the most offensive. There, you made it. Go the fuck in. Hey, what's inside? Oh, just a great big fucking fight. With more pigs. Alright, well fuck this. Let's go get healed first. Give her the perfume if she wants it. If you found some perfume, you should soak a rag in it, put it at your nose, and you won't smell pig shit anymore. Interesting. Pig balls, you're a lifesaver. Yes, absolutely, I'll take that off your hands. And here's a little something for your troubles. You come back anytime now, okay? From y'all, come back nice. now. You can get healed up. Maybe buy ourselves some new weapons if we've got the money for it. Give the guy the ramen noodles and then come back for that fight. So it seems like a big one. The Sanctified Piscatelli is the owner and operator of the Bizarre Weapon Store and Experimental Workshop.
we should get something hot to drink for the trip. Hot noodles? Fill her up, Bursky. <laughs> Hello again, my friends. Okay, this is about the noodles. Yes, yes, my friends. You don't know what this means to me. You have altered the course of human gastronomical history. Here, a small measure of my gratitude. Ah, and of course, as we discussed, I'll be happy to join you at your HQ now. Let me pack up my supplies and I'll see you there. See you at Sweet. Ranger Hello HQ. Up, Bursky. <laughs> I'll tell you when to quit. Mm -hmm. It's sick. Dr. Coldcut can jump. Ah, you again. What is it? Ah, pig, human, <laughs> ain't so different. Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Promise. See ya. It really annoys me when it does that. Ah, it leaves health. What is it? It's missing. They're missing like 25% oh, of the house. So I have to pay another $25 <laughs> to patch it up. Promise. Doesn't sound like much, but 25 bucks is quite a big deal. Considering you're supposed to have done it first time. Get your protective gear here! Coordination. Melee combat, definitely. So he's got increased hit chance. Didn't have any bucks. Coordination. Definitely brawling. Increase the hit chance. Quan's strength is pretty good now. He doesn't need more health, he needs more awareness from now on. Get his damage and his hit rating up. Sneaky shit, cost five, I can't afford automatic weapons. Increases hit chance by quite a lot, so we'll get that. Already got puncturing shot. Little gophers like to stay in their holes, but that just makes it easier for you to take them down. Go for hunter. And then you said twenty five percent less benefit from cover when attacking them. And that could be really useful. Spray and pray. Some say they prefer quality over quantity, but those people usually reconsider their tactics when they're trying to outrun a down pour of lead. Tears up enemy with twice as many SMG bullets as a normal attack that has twenty five percent less chance to hit. Applies slow, so that's um, SMG and reckless cover. What's it good for? Bring them on. Gain 15% damage with machine guns while not in cover. Submachine guns while not in cover. Double tap. The first hit just opens them up to the real kill shot. If you attack a target twice in a row with an assault rifle, the second is always a critical hit. Oh, that would be quite useful. Stormer. Combat is all about momentum. Keep pushing forward and you'll punch right through. If you move more than five spaces, your next submachine gun attack costs no action points. That's plus one. Trigger happy killing and even automatic weapon gives plus three AP. That would be good. But we definitely want the gopher, gopher hunter. Enemies have 25% less benefit from cover when attacking them. Yes. Lucia Wesson. Her strength is fine now, so she can have more awareness. So she can increase her hit chance. Uh, she can get small arms, I think. Increase her chance to hit with pistols. Weird science. Overcharge. Charge a weapon and pyre into your bonus energy. Yeah, don't want that. Energy damage is increased by 0.5 bonus damage for every point of armor the Talia has. 
That could be quite good. No, I don't want that. Don't want that. Opportunist sounds pretty good. The first attack after reloading an empty weapon costs no AP. That could be really useful, especially for the the confusion ray. So I'm going to take that because it takes a lot to reload it. I hope it applies to the confusion ray, otherwise it's badly written. Uh, awareness and intelligence are max enough. And max awareness. And then we'll do intelligence next. Yeah. Toast to repair, first aid, sniper rifles, sniper rifles. Precision strikes with sniper rifles have significantly higher chance of inflicting critical effects. Yep, I'm going to do that, definitely. And this guy didn't level. His next point is going to go into intelligence, so he's getting the extra skill points. The bonus skill points. Right, let's just save it now that everyone's fully healed, fully leveled. And let's go talk to the weapons business. Some kind of giant three headed. Hello again, strangers. Certainly. So I junk. Nice, now we've got 2.8k to buy some good weapons. This is all stuff I sold her. Machine tower is only 73, so I'm actually going to buy all three of those because they seem really useful. Shock mace is 900, pulse rifle is an assault rifle. Brawling weapon requires five brawling. Don't think we have that. Big weapon. Requires five big guns. What do we have in big guns? We've got five in big guns. So what's our damage at the moment? Twenty-four to thirty-two times five. Sorry, we'll be done in just a minute. Twenty-four to thirty-two times five. Certainly. Is 24 to 32 times 5, and this is 19 to 26 times 9. It's not that much better. Assault rifle, auto revolver. Red dragon sniper rifle. 95 to 131 damage, requires 6 in sniping. Let's see what that actually does. There we go. 156 to 215, that seems like it's worth it. Yeah, we're gonna buy that. Let's check how much it actually does. Now that we've got the right person selected for the likes. 19 to 26 times nine. The other one was 24 to 32 times 5, so slightly more damage. 917 though, I'm not sure that's worth it. Auto Revolver. 
90 to 111 damage. Base hit chance 75. Might do that. Oh wait, what's this? Phase blasters are available. Nine hundred and six, maybe we should just get the compare items for a battle rifle. Whoa, look at the damage. That is way bigger damage. It's double damage, literally double damage. Ammo capacity is higher, penetration is higher. Yeah, I'm buying that. So we've got three. We've got one to Marshal Quan. The M1989A1. And we've got one for Lucia. What's the hit chance? Hang on, where's the, where's the revolver? Army revolver. Auto revolver. Base hit chance 70. Penetration is 10. This penetration is 99 for this energy weapon. This is points in the air, I know. Whoops. Now we're going to equip that. Sniper rifle. Where is it? Red Dragon. It's got one less ammo capacity, same range, same ammo type. It's got way higher penetration and way higher strike rate, whatever that does. Oh, and way higher damage. Literally up to double damage, nearly. Nice. Rib cracker. Did we get the machine gun form in the end? I don't think we did. No, we decided against it. Rib cracker, blunt weapon, requires four melee. Does he have four melee? He does now, he's got five. So yeah, we're gonna give him the rib cracker. No, the road warrior does more damage. 48 to 59. Huh, didn't expect that. Eighteen to twenty-seven damage, penetration five. Yeah, that's much better. It requires four dwelling, which she obviously has now. Dwelling is five now. Yeah, sweet. Well, that's a significant upgrade, so that should hopefully help in the battle to come. And we're completely out of cash now. So let's just go back to the warrens. Well, that's a significant upgrade on the sniper rifle, at any rate, and it's a minor upgrade on everything else. So we should be doing a lot more damage now. Decades ago, the Patriarch defeated the Monster Army by finding a way into the bazaar through the Warrens. Yeah, they seem to think they're completely sub uh, secure and locked up tight. There's so many different entrances that we found. Well, just the way through Dr. Smiles' tunnel, but obviously that was enough for the El Payasos to get in without them realizing what's going on.
I'm just gonna use that silver coin quickly in the vending machine. I thought I collected them all already, but apparently not. Two more silver coins, very useful. Initiate customer protocol. That enjoy your my riches, please. Enjoy <laughs> fabulous my riches, please. Ooh, frag grenade. Nice. For your safety, please do not shake the machine. Have an awful day. Beep. I will, thank you. Okay, we are set for the big ass fight. Unfortunately though guys, we have come to the end of the hour, so we're going to wrap things up here for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching the stream, we greatly appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed playing, as always it's been an absolute blast. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment in the section down below before you go, or consider subscribing if you're new to the channel, and are looking for more video game content in the future. I'll be uploading much more of this, plus a variety of other games on a regular basis, so be sure to check back frequently for updates as the channel grows and develops. Guys, once again, thank you so much for hanging out. See you in the next one. Until then, peace out. And as always, stay classy.